Now, that just proves that that stuff is traveling the crack behind the wall that we don't know about, or it's traveling with the rebar. Water loves metal, and it travels on that rebar no problem. So once we, now we're gonna switch over to product. Once we start pumping product in here, it mixes with water and it goes after moisture and all this will be filled and it'll never leak again. What are you doing here now, Phil? So we're gonna start to pump in the, the actual product, get a chemical reaction, and then this will fill up and it'll never leak again. Okay, so you've done the water injection, you're coming behind now with secret sauce, is that yep. the idea? And you just gotta do it. There's the product right there. We're just gonna go to the next one. See it coming out of a crack. They wanted to push it right off the wall is such a... We'll go to the next one. We'll have to clean up this wall after. Now Phil, this wall is how thick? Probably 12 inches. Okay. 10-12 and inches. And you were saying earlier that... Uh, See the product come out of here? That if you go to the outside of the wall, in uh, some cases you'll see that the product was actually uh, followed the water and actually sealed off on the outside as well. Exactly. Almost up to the next one. Yeah, you can see that. Yep. Incredible. You'll see it come out everywhere in this one, pretty close to the top, plus we're above grade. There it's on right there, you can feel it. Coming out everywhere. That wall is done. We're here on the job again today with uh, Phil Crackmaster Concrete. Yep. And what have you done here uh, from the last time we were here with the video? Uh, well, we obviously were injecting last time we talked, and, uh, and now we're on cleanup stage. So we've uh, cleaned up the wall with the grinder, and uh, you can see a before and after picture. This is, you can go in the corner, we injected the crack right there. And uh, Where are the injection ports there? Yeah, they were right here. Okay, gotcha. We still have to plug them. Yep. But, you know, for the most part, it's all perfectly clean. Okay, so you had some dry. resin uh, come out after the fact, and you've come in and uh, did uh, the grinding job, and yep. and it looks like you weren't even here, actually. Yeah, it would actually look even better if someone didn't try to fix this before, because don't forget, he's chiseled something out and put a different cement in there, so you're gonna kinda get a discoloring. Right. But for the most part, it looks you know, just as good as any other wall in here.